that. What? Hey, this is Caleb with Buddy Tech, and I have with me an AR-47 build. Before we get started, that's empty. So is that. Good to go. Still smells like powder. At the heart of this build is a 7.62x39 upper by Bear Creek Arsenal, and it's going to be the focus of this video. Up front is a chrome vanadium heavy duty 1 in 10 twist barrel with a parkerized finish. Thread pitch is 5 8 by 24 which is common for 30 caliber. The gas system is direct impingement, carbine length, and non-adjustable, and is covered by a rugged 12 inch handguard. Picatinny runs the top length with M-lock on the sides and bottom, and four QD mounts on the sides. The receiver is billet with an M4 flat top, features a side charging handle, and is compatible with any mil-spec AR-15 lower. The bolt is 9310 steel with a parkerized finish, and the carrier is nitride finished. If you're not familiar with AR-47s, it's just an AR-15 chambered in 7.62x39, a round more commonly associated with the AK-47, thus AR-47. There's not much to visually distinguish it other than the banana mag. The side charging handle is something that Bear Creek Arsenal does, but is not required or necessarily common among AR-47s. It's also available in left side reciprocating and also top charging handle with a dust cover. The lower is just a normal 556-223 lower from Panther DPMS. The bolt carrier group, receiver, and the barrel are sold as a complete upper package directly from Bear Creek Arsenal. The only thing I really had to get were the 7.62x39 specific AR magazines. Uh, this is a C Products Duramag SS 30 round mag. It's steel and it's incredibly well made. Okay, so down to our experience. We did have some reliability issues. About 400 rounds in, we did break an extractor. Um, now, we had only lightly cleaned the gun and mild lubrication, um, but at one point it just completely stopped feeding took the gun apart and yes, the extractor had completely snapped off. Now, apparently from Bear Creek Arsenal, this is a common issue because you have a 556-223 extractor trying to grab onto the bigger booty of 762 by 39. Their customer service took care of me. They were incredibly kind. And in a couple days I had a brand new extractor and they even included um, a rubber washer and a little insert for the extractor spring which apparently you can use to kind of change the ejection path or just finer tune your gun. You don't have to put those in there, but I thought it was a nice touch. Um, the new extractors have been milled out a little bit to accommodate for the larger shell casing in the back for 7.62x39. The second problem that we had, well, technically the first, was uh, light primer strikes. What happened? Light? Didn't see it all the way? That's a light primer strike. Point well, that a bit. Now granted, these were primarily steel cased surplus grade ammo, but this is the majority of what you're gonna find on the market. And for a lot of people, this is why they're gonna buy or build an AR-47 to have access to that kind of ammo. Um, but I was able to buy a Red X Arms heavy duty chrome plated firing pin. I installed it in less than 10 minutes and I've only had one light primer strike since. Also worth noting is since then, Bear Creek Arsenal has started shipping their uppers and complete firearms with an enhanced firing pin. So they took care of that problem, that's two for two. The last issue that we had was with the charging handle. This is a small issue, but even after tightening down mine quite a bit and using Loctite, it would come loose pretty quick. Now, we did realize in our slow-mo footage that every single shell ejecting was ricocheting off the handle. So that probably contributed a little bit to it. And three for three, Bear Creek Arsenal is now shipping most of their firearms with their charging handle 2.0, which is more AK-like in style and features an extra metal dowel that keeps the handle from rotating out of place, which is a really nice improvement. I used a coupon by signing up to Bear Creek Arsenal's newsletter and was able to purchase this with the 10% off for about $330, which for a complete upper that in my opinion is quality and gives you access to cheap ammo is a steal. Get it? Steal ammo? That's a really bad joke. If you're a value oriented buyer like I, I am, you'll probably find this a very satisfying purchase. Worth noting, if you're not familiar with surplus steel ammo, it can run on the dirty side. So it can foul a gun faster than quality brass ammo. Now for AKs, this isn't as much a problem. They're built with those factors in mind. ARs aren't as much. So the big question is, why would you not just get an AK, right? 
I mean, it's AK ammo and you're putting it through an AR and it's going to get dirtier faster, right? Well, AKs aren't exactly cheap these days or widely available. You know, if you try to buy like a PSA AK and that's one of the more affordable ones and you'll still spend probably about a grand. So if you don't want to spend a grand, you can spend three or $400 on a complete upper and then you get to preserve whatever work you've done on your lower for your AR-15. So let's say you put a trigger in like I did. Maybe you really like your grip and your stock. You preserve all that, you put an upper on. You don't have to register it as a new firearm depending on what state you're in. I'm not really sure, but I know in Tennessee here you don't. And it ships right to your door. You don't have to go through an FFL, again, depending on your state. For a lot of people, that's gonna be a much more appealing purchase and a much lower cost of entry to get access to 762 by 39. Okay, so final thoughts. Um, my verdict is that I love this thing and I like it so much that I gave it a name. It started out life as a Panther DPMS, chambered in 5.56.223, and it's you know like an AK, so I call it the Comrade Panther. Yep, I gave it a name and it's a freaking sweet name. Yeah, I had some issues with it, some reliability issues, but they all got fixed really quick. Um, I might still upgrade to the Gen 2 handle or I'll just enjoy it on the next one that I buy. I've already got my eye on another upper from them, so I'll probably be building several guns based on their products. And I, I just think based on their customer service, American Made, they're out in North Carolina, they're just a great company. And again, I bought this myself, so I don't have any reason to be biased. Um, and I love being able to shoot more frequently, go out and improve my skills, um, getting into the field without breaking the bank. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Check us out on other platforms listed below and stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. We are my mag. Prepared some debris in your magazine. All right. That should be <coughs> correct this time. Okay.